<laughs> wow. I think that was the our first game with the first team against Barnet. When we came on, the first team played the first game as well and they were losing 1-0. Uh, More of the reserve came in the second half and uh, yeah, we won 2-1. <laughs> so, yeah. <laughs> in my memories, I was, I've done quite well in this first game and I was pretty happy with it. That was uh, the pre-season in uh, Austria, I think. As you can see in the picture, obviously they didn't have my size. <laughs> The uh, final of uh, FA Youth Cup, it was a big thing on my first year to, to win a trophy with the, the youth team. We don't really get in touch anymore, most of them, but uh, I can see on the right Gilles Sunu. I'm going to his wedding <laughs> in June, so uh, yeah, good times. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. It's not like I'm winning every trophy, you know. <laughs> Uh, no, I just won the Euro with the French national team on the 19. Great memories. We had, to be honest, we had a, an unbelievable squad, uh, from goalkeeper to the last one on the bench. Everyone uh, was top quality and deserved to start. And to beat as well Spain in the final with uh, all the names they've got. It was yeah, it was an unbelievable tournament. <laughs> So that was my time when I went on loan to, to Lorient. It was fun because it was a bit similar to here, the way the, the coach uh, approached football as well. Everyone got on with, uh, with each other. The bond in the team was very good. So then to play week in, week out, and uh, to play at Marseille, because I'm, uh, I'm a Marseille fan, to play at the Velodrome with uh, Lorient was something big as well. It was a great experience. Every year they were trying to take me back there, yeah. Yeah, come back for one more year on loan. I was like, well, I'm not coming back, but honestly, I, don't, I will not forget what you've done for me. I had a few problems with my hamstring at the time. I thought the game before we won 2-0, and then uh, he gave me another game against Chelsea, so I thought, oh, this is a big game. To get injured there, I thought, ah, I was playing well, and I thought I could just at least show what I could do. And after that, I didn't get a chance to play, so yeah, it was, it was frustrating for me, but uh, it's part of the game. I was young as well, so the intensity of the, of the Premier League, probably at that age, uh, I was not ready to, to take it week in, week out. So that's why I was probably getting injured. You learn from this injury, you know, you don't want to get injured, so you're being more cautious, you're trying to do more than not to avoid them. So it was a learning process. But, um, every time I came back stronger, so it's the, it the most important. That was probably my hardest time in football. I had the, the choice to go to France for a loan, to a quite good club, Saint-Etienne. And at Freiburg, we just had a, an amazing season. The Bundesliga was attracting me as well, because I didn't want to go like easy way, going back to France. That was a bit of a comfort zone. So I thought, you know what, I like a challenge, so I go to Germany. To be honest, when I got there, I wasn't prepared. Physically, I was obviously, I enjoyed my, myself in the, in the summer, so I didn't know where I was going as well, so it was difficult to prepare. What I've done over there is beyond thinking like it's too much. Like, I've never worked so hard over there. It was just unbelievable. It was difficult, the relationship with the manager. We never really get on. He never gave me my chance as well, because I was, I'm playing all the midfield, and uh, I was playing left wing, right wing. But I don't want to speak too much on them because at the end of the day, mentally, it makes me really, really, really strong. It was going so bad that I wanted to come back in January. But they said, no, they count on me. So I said, all right, you know, I made the choice to go there. So I stayed there. And uh, I didn't play one game in the second part of the season. So, you know what, I thought I'm going to work hard. And when I come back to Arsenal, I'm going to give everything I have because I've got one year left and I've got nothing to lose. In the end, it paid off. Game against Newcastle, first game back, crazy. I was in Charlton, uh, making plans with the manager, and then next day, I get a call to come back. So yeah, it was weird. When I played there, I thought, okay, this is the first game. I'm on the bench, that's fine. Then we played QPR, I think. On the bench again, playing 30 second. So I wasn't happy, because I was playing every game in Charlton. And uh, to come back and play, a minute and a half in two games. I was like, well, what's the point? And then, next picture. When I was expecting to play, I was on a bench, and the game, no way I thought I was gonna start. 
I'm starting. Because at the time, we were fifth and West Ham were fourth. Away, I'm thinking this is a tricky one to start. It was a bit of a poison uh, gift. If it would have gone in the bad way, maybe that was going to be my last game for Arsenal. We played, we won 2-1. And then after that, I didn't get out of the team. It's detail sometimes in football. What can you do? <laughs> I don't want to sound arrogant or anything, but when I woke up that day, I thought, there's no way I'm going on without the trophy. No way. I was focused from the first minute on. I was hoping the manager from Freiburg was looking at the TV and uh, see that trophy? Here we go. Playing all in midfield, no left wing, no right wing, playing all in midfield. It was an unbelievable feeling. My whole family was there to win 4 0 as well. It was just crazy final. It was, I was expecting a tough, tough challenge, but I was so prepared for it. And it didn't really happen. So it was quite weird, but at the end of the day, you know, I take the trophy. So I was, um, no, I was really, really happy. What are you doing? Subscribe. Click there.